Good morning here at work and it's we are iced in in Arkansas another day closed at work I came on in to see how uh, how bad the roads were see if see if uh, we could be open today and, and such it looks like we're gonna be closed another day so I'll do a few hours of work and stuff like that and then and then get out of here but uh, while I'm here and while I've got the place to myself I figured I would discuss this little guy right here the DJI whoop um, previous video my build walkthrough uh, it was weighing at 45 grams two days after that that video after I posted that video I had some motors come in I talked to a fellow pilot and uh, the, he recommended 9,000 kV that's his favorite and so I ordered a set of 9,000 kV and a set of 10,000 kV and the 10,000 kV came in first so I have thrown 10,000 kV motors on here that I got from uh, Cyclone FPV. Dropped the weight. Uh, that plus the little, the little extra stuff that I did that I'm not finished, finished trying out an idea. I'm going to go to the next level with it. Once I, I, I vet that next level, if it's beneficial, then I'm going to share it with y'all. But those two little changes shade off another two grams, which got this whoop down to 43, which is two grams heavier than the HD zero whoop. And that's where it should be uh, stock raw because the HD zero whoop board and the naked Vista are only two grams difference in weight. So with the little uh, changes I've made, plus the 10,000 kV motors, this thing screams. This thing is, is fast. I'm still getting about, I'm, it cut the uh, flight time down. Now I'm getting around 310, 315, depends on how much acro I do. Um, but it's quick, it's fast, it's more responsive from a full 180 uh, uh, y'all turn. It, it picks, picks, picks its uh, speed right back up. Uh, flips and rolls and stuff are much easier uh, at this point. And with this little guy, there's nowhere in this entire building I can't get to. I've been testing the range on it and I'm hitting every aisle. I'm flying the entire length of the building. And, you know, I don't know if you can see too well, but that's, that's over a hundred, hundred yards to that back wall. And it, the entire thing is, is still racking. There's a three story picking cube, which is just shelves after shelves after shelves, three stories tall all white shelving, brake pads, rotors, chemicals, all that stuff in the DJI Whoop is punching through all that and it gives me full range of this entire building which is a lot of fun. Dude, this thing rocks. The fact that there's no manufacturers out there making these things is just mind-blowing. They're still, they're, they're still locked into the, the, the myths around a Naked Vista and they're missing out on a freaking cash cow. This thing, this thing goes everywhere, flies amazing. But for those of y'all that were wondering why the videos changed from 45 grams to 43 grams on the thumbnail and uh, why in the last video I was saying 45 grams, because it did, but why I had it on the bench, disassembled, motors finally came in, I went ahead and threw the 10,000 kV on it. Um, another little modification that I'm gonna, um, chase down the rabbit hole a little bit more before I, I share that but if if it works out um, weight is 43 grams now updated the thumbnails educated educating you kind of why there's a there's a, a, a contradiction from one video to the next then uh, I really I'm really hoping that if the, that rabbit hole pays off that this may be at 40 grams or less uh, in my next video. But with that said, build you one. You're gonna freaking love it. Peace out.